Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty and Bubbles. We missed you last week. I just had a really great intro, but we weren't live, so we're here now. We're super excited to have some of our guest models, our guest artists. We are hosting a fun Halloween makeup and hair special this weekend for $99. You can get all sorts of fun makeup done. We did an Instagram poll. I don't know if you guys all voted on what looks you wanted to see. So some of the looks that won was the glam look. We had a unicorn and a but kind of scary-ish pumpkin. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. So, <laughs> we're making it real scary, you know. So we already went ahead and started with half of the face for you guys so you can save time. But we want to give you your answers to your Halloween. What are some easy looks? We all know Halloween's like this weekend. So maybe you don't have a costume. So maybe you can just do a really easy, simple look and just wear a black dress. So we want to answer your questions. Any questions you have on how to create an at-home Halloween look, our makeup artists are all here to answer questions. So we have Ida here with us. Um, she does, she's our esthetician, makeup artist, and so she does microblading, skincare, makeup here. We have Woo! Carmen, Woo! who is our, we have a live audience, we have a live audience tonight, yes, yeah. <laughs> not, we didn't do not that. a shout out uh, <laughs> So she does nails, makeup, hair, a little bit of everything, and then we have Siobhan, who will be joining us this weekend too. And Siobhan does hair, nails, a little bit of everything here with us. Makeup. So she does, she does makeup. Makeup. Obviously so. <laughs> makeup. Siobhan does not do makeup. She doesn't do makeup. We just threw her, her in tonight. Threw her in tonight. So we are going to have them kind of create the looks for you on the second half of the face tonight. So we can kind of let them go. Oh, and we have to thank our models. Yes, thank we you. We have Ray Bird here with us tonight doing the glam look. We have Ashley Collins doing our unicorn. She really went all out, guys. Like, her like, outfit is like... I threw it together. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. And then we have Carly here with us who does hair, and she is here being our pumpkin face. She's so cute. So I'll let you girls, I'm gonna kind of move fast and let everybody kind of come forward and do, get started on their makeup. So again guys, we're taking all of your questions for um, anything Halloween related that you wanna know if there's a certain look a um, couple of our questions that came through earlier, the best ways to remove Halloween makeup. Do any of our artists Ida, you have, have any suggestions on the best way to remove all of the makeup that you wear? Yeah, so I would start off with um, like a skin friendly oil to just break down all of that pigment and all of the glue and everything. So start with that um, and I would wipe that off with a makeup wipe and then finish with a um, micellar water. That should get off all the gunk and then you can finish with your regular skincare routine after that. Any other tips and tricks from anyone? That Getting sounds up. good. Oil, yeah. oil will break it down. Like she said, it's something that's not mutagenic. Yes, yeah. Oil always breaks down all of the things. Yeah. I always have a hard time getting the lash glue off. Does anybody have suggestions? Is it more just an oil-based eye makeup remover to get that eyelash glue? Girls, you know what I'm talking about when you have the little eyelash. Like it glue balls like, up yeah, and you like cannot get it off to save lashes. your life. It's like three days of glue on your eyelid. Um, I'd say, I mean, I do eye wash. makeup remover, something that's not gonna bother your eyes too much, but a lot of times that has like oils and things that'll break that down as well. No, no car wash. <laughs> well, you girls are about ready to find out tonight on how to get all this makeup off. We'll check back next week on what they have to say. Seriously, I hope to have the space tomorrow. I'm sleeping in my Oh, you will. Yeah, yeah, so I will be perfect. Sure. I can't wait. Perfect. wait. I'm just going to go to the test. I'm 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 going to go to the test
Okay, so here's another question that came in for all of our artists. How do you, if you want to kind of create like a fake wound, a zombie look, how would you attach latex or like kind of create like a sore type look or a dead look on the face? Yeah, so you basically want to add like the latex to the area um, that you're wanting to do the gory or the cut or whatever first. Then you can actually cut pieces of cotton or Kleenex and start putting it on that area and keep adding the latex and then the pieces of whatever it was, cotton or Kleenex, again, because you're building that up. And as you're building it up, it slowly starts drying. And then you can actually like use, you have to be careful. <laughs> Sometimes I use like um, little scissors or something to cut that cotton or you know the layers of cotton or the Kleenex. And then you can just open that up and then you can just go in there and paint your red for blood or how do you attach your cotton and stuff? Is that lash glue? Or no, no, do you with the latex. latex. With the latex. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. all latex. All latex. Just like a kit that you would get from Halloween store or yeah, any you can suggestions? use that latex. Um, I've used it before. It's not the best latex. That takes a lot of practice to use, but usually you can go online on Amazon and get like better latex. It's a little bit. Like liquid. There's like a liquid more spirit gum. Spirit gum would work too. There's yeah. a great um, local spot to get all of your Halloween stuff so they have a full range of Ben Nye products which are really good for latex and spare gum. It's called Makeup Media. It's in the Highlands. Yeah. I don't know if you're just <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, There's just really great I know. Oh, it's so good. And then Makeup Media has a lot of really great like prosthetic stuff too, so you can actually buy those cuts right. and wounds that, that she's talking about that are pre-made that are pre-made and just put it on with the spirit gum and paint over it and they, they're really well informed. They can explain to you how to put it on, blend it in really well so it looks like a part of your skin and yeah. One of my oh, favorite so. Halloween looks is literally I did face makeup one year and was a skull and it was like the easiest thing ever. You wore a black dress, you had some crazy hair, you called it a day. You looked really fabulous. So I think makeup is such a great way to get that Halloween look. What did you girls agree? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All you need is the makeup. Right? And you can just even wear a simple black dress or a yeah. jumpsuit or or a tutu. Or a tutu. <laughs> or a tutu. <laughs> you want, Whatever that. your heart desires. So I think a couple things we wanted to talk about too. Everybody was asking kind of the hot Halloween trends that are easy looks. Your last minute on your Halloween costume, you don't have something in your closet. What do you guys think are kind of some fast, easy things that you have at home to create an easy Halloween look? Or cat. Cats, cats are always easy. Nose a little nose. eyeliner. Yeah, a cat eye. A mouse, duh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a mouse, duh. Who doesn't love mean girls? A unicorn. A unicorn. A unicorn. Okay. I was going to say, Ashley's look is pretty simple. Yeah, she threw it around. around. Her hair is not boring. Yeah, I pretty much had everything that I'm wearing. Yeah, white t shirt. She went to Spirit, got a tutu and some. No, I already have this. Oh. <laughs> Sure, yeah. I had the fishnets too. Actually, she had, had the fishnets. Like literally, she had it all. Carmen, can you tell us how you created her horn? Yes, I actually. <laughs> I mean, it didn't it just sprout out there. It before. didn't sprout <laughs> overnight. <laughs> so what I did is I used two pipe cleaners that from like the craft store, obviously, <laughs> and I kind of like twisted them together to make a cone kind of shape, and then I bended the bottom part so that way bottom parts are here and you just pin those and you have your little cone shape here and then you just wrap pieces of hair and you twist, pin, grab another piece on this side, twist, pin, and so you go in the opposite direction. Obviously you can make it thicker or longer or because once thicker. this is here you can actually add more if you wanted to. So yeah. And then we sprayed our hair with a little bit of that color spray for hair. So just give it a little bit of unicorn. So fun. Her colors in her hair are so fun. Yes. I think a vampire is really easy. All you need to do is get like the teeth, and you can do a look like this, and just this 
black dress is from Zara, just like a stretchy black dress, and some heels, and you know, make them hair like big and sexy, and you do blood or anything. Yeah, a little blood maybe if you wanted to. Okay, so here's a question. The blood from Spirit Halloween is a little hard to use, I think. What do you guys think is the easiest, best way to create like a bloody look that will last through the night? I actually use red lipstick and add a little bit of black in there, black lipstick or even black eyeshadow just to make it look darker in some areas or like a stain maybe. Even like a, a stain, stain, I've done that too. Some and lip scents or something? Yeah, maybe. And then like a lip, like a shiny lip gloss. Like a shiny lip gloss, I just kind of tap on top so that it looks wet. Mm -hmm. So that's oh, very easy. Yeah. This applies like some yeah. blood out. Huh? Exactly. Perfect. Anybody else have or any? Or real blood. You can use real blood. Yeah, just cut yourself. That would be great. <laughs> it's a perfect idea, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a cut of meat. I know. I know. It's so sad. I learned about it. So what do you guys, what is your favorite Halloween costume you've ever had? You can go childhood, you can go today. Oh, when I was three, I think, I was Chewbacca. Ooh, Ooh and my mom had it. And that was my favorite. I love it. <laughs> Harley? Um, well, one year I did um, Day of the Dead. I really liked that one. It was super easy. You just really have to do makeup. It was kind of like Peanuts Girl with the Day of the Dead. So it was super simple. I didn't really have to buy anything, just do makeup and hair. Um, I like that one. I was also Hello Kitty when you're surprised at times. Surprise! That's a shock to me. Carmen? I think growing up is always like the best costumes. Like I was a punk rocker, a wish. Um, gosh, I don't remember what else, but yeah, just because you get to. So Mine was Courtney Love. Oh, oh good one. Yeah. You kind of look like her. Yeah, that was good. Well, thanks. Did you know that? Thanks. Did you think to go? I think I my favorite, one of my friends and I, um, in, in law school, it seems like you shouldn't be dressing up in law school. Uh, <laughs> um, Elle Woods was a place where we could That's true. <laughs> so my friend was like the bad ballerina from um, Black Swan. Ooh. And she had like the really intense like makeup and our friend was a graphic artist and actually drew like the wings on her back with like wow. her feet. And we like made these like corsets and then I had like the white outfit, like the white swan. It was, it was really fun. I love it. it. Love it. Ida? Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just started throwing in another costume. One year I was like a kind of a pin um uh, Beetlejuice. Oh, that's Ooh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. She forgot the pants. Yeah. Everyone at the end, or you have to check out our Instagram, Glamour Bar Denver, and see Ida's astronaut costume that she had rocking. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. So I'll tell you my favorite Halloween is one year in sixth grade. My mom let I like everybody here so over the story because I pulled it like six times. Um, my mom had me dress up as a flapper, which is not Catholic school appropriate, but I also went to school with a fake cigarette holder with a fake cigarette in it and fake smoked all day long. <laughs> I didn't get down from school. <laughs> you didn't? No. I don't know how, but like. Other days you got sent, huh? I mean, there were other days, but my mom was like, I was so good at Halloween. One year I was the Statue of Liberty and they were like spray painting everything like outside. They did like a flashlight and made like a cone around it and then like spray painted <laughs> sheets and like wrapped it in. So that's kind of an easy costume. Easy. 
I, super simple. It's simple. Super simple. <laughs> also, one year I was Tinkerbell. Oh, In high school, and this is a funny story, my dad made my costume. We went to Walmart and bought felt, green felt, and he sewed me into my costume because he put like Velcro to hold it together. And I was like, I can't breathe. And I'm gonna pop all the Velcro. And so he stapled me into my Tinkerbell <laughs> oh, wow. fit, which happened to be super short. And my Spanish teacher hated it. Oh, <laughs> we're friends on Facebook. So hopefully she's not watching this. I'm sorry. I'm still very really sorry about it, okay? <laughs> but my parents did it. <laughs> T-Bird, thanks for letting yeah, Charlie super. borrow your football. Okay. Yes, it was super warm and uh, it was really easy. And she needs a new song. T-Bird, I'll sit her out. She needs a new song. Okay, question just in. Did I ever dress up as Rod Stewart in high school? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is no, just on the daily when I had my pixie cut. <laughs> and, and, and actually, I went home and my mom goes, I told my mom the story because she's not on Facebook. And I was like, I told the story tonight about how I had that really terrible haircut. And she's like, oh, it was awful. And you thought it was Drew Barrymore. And it was nothing like Drew Barrymore. <laughs> and, she was like, and she said, it wasn't a pixie. It was a bowl cut. Oh, no. I was like, shoot. I should like right. I need pictures of this. I'm going to have to, like, Brenda. really, like, track back and find my Rod Stewart days. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back. I'm bringing sexy back. Oh, that's JT. Not Rod Stewart. Not Rod Stewart. <laughs> Not Rod Stewart. So we are accepting your questions. Remember why the girls finish up their makeup? <laughs> I don't even know what the question You look so fire. bad. You look fire. No. Like, well, you look dope. Ooh. I mean, you know what? This is actually a couple questions. So, one question that we had come in was How could you get a good hairline if you're kind of balding? <laughs> That's right. Come for me. So, what do you girls think? How, what is a good way to kind of fake? Is it eyeshadow? Is it paint? What's the best way to kind of create a hairline? I thought I would do a softer, yeah, because paint is a really harsh line. So uh, just take some eyeshadow with, a, with more, maybe more of a, a stiff brush so you can kind of stipple it in. And mascara brush, but that would twerk. Or for adding Ma like a hair yeah, line. Yeah, hair line. Okay. Would you use a matte eyeshadow? I would, yes, matte for sure. No shimmer. No shimmer. No, no, yeah. Um, another question that we had come in was if somebody wanted to be Donald Trump and they have black hair, how can they get kind of that brassy bleach on it? All, bleach on it. <laughs> bleach. Yeah. And don't let it process all the way. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> don't let it process all the way. Just don't let it process all the way. Yeah, yeah. how do you like get your hair up in the way? Does anybody know that? There's Ooh, hair that's a good There's one. There's uh, caps. I know a cap. Yeah. You can know. I saw, I seem to have that spirit. Yeah. What are some um, other good ways if you don't have, have a hair cap to get all of your hair under a wig at home? Just shove it up in the back. Well, you gotta put your hair in a low ponytail. Low ponytail versus a high? Yeah. Well, you okay. can do high too, but it depends on the length, depends on the length of the hair. Just as long as you can get it. Sure. Jolly. You want to make it as flat as possible. As flat? Yeah. That way the wig lays. Yeah. And pins versus probably a ponytail holder, so you don't have yeah, like yes. a ball. Yes. Cannot be having your weave be messed up. No. Mm -hmm. Have that weave down, ladies. Have it down. You cannot. What else? Actually, I was just yeah. going to say. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 So adhering jewels to the face was a question that we got. What is the best glue? What's the best way to adhere jewels to the face? So you can actually buy these that have the little sticky in the back already, um, which makes it a lot easier. They do have them craft stores, Walmart, Target. 
You can also, if you don't have them and you just happen to have some at home that don't have a sticking back, um, just use eyelash glue. And it doesn't really matter what kind of eyelash glue, you just get something over the counter. Just make sure when you put it on the, the jewel, kind of let it get a little tacky and then just put it where you want to put it on the skin. And that's it. So Siobhan, how are you creating creating like the dimension on Carly's pumpkin? Okay, so I'm kind of layering it. Um, first, I mixed. I wanted a really light orange, so I mixed with the Ben Nye. Uh, oops, drop those. Uh, the Ben Nye yellow and then special orange together to do a lighter orange look, um, and then went over. I wanted some of the shading with kind of a red brown. And I took, I took kind of, it's, it's a fluffy brush, but it still is kind of flat, so you can get in there with those lines, but have them kind of diffused. And I went in with this color and just kind of drew out the lines that I wanted for the pumpkin. Like that. Um, then to add a little bit more dimension to to those lines, I went in with a dark gray and the same brush and did a little bit thinner within the brown, the dark gray, to give up, to kind of gradiate the color. Um, um, then, I feel like it's just easier to have Siobhan do it. Yeah, I do. I was like, I it. just like it's really so easier to do yeah, it. For so me. then I went with the orange. I went with the orange and blended out that brown and gray right there to, to give a little bit darker orange color. As you mentioned there, and then on the highlight part, I used a shimmery yellow or just gold from Mac. Okay. And put that on top it's on top of the orange. So the orange is still gonna shine through, but it just gives a pretty highlight. And because because it's a little bit because it is a shimmery shadow, it kind of adds a little bit of glam to the pumpkin, even though it's kind of a scary pumpkin face. So that's what I we like glam with scary. I we like too. glam with everything. A little glam with all the things. I've never been a scary Halloween person. You know how some people are like they like they love to be super scary. Yeah. Well, we all know that there's like a few Yes, you're early right. days. Like, what yes. early days. days. Like, out of the year. You're funny. No, you're scary. No, you got three days out of the year. Your birthday, New Year's Eve, Halloween. Yeah. Scandalous. Scandalous. I think that's that that something. Is that like <laughs> appropriate for 7 p.m. Facebook Live? Scandalous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are the children still up? One and they're thing. probably watching because it's Halloween time. One thing I also did. Um, when I did the face is I took a white eyeliner pencil and I drew what I wanted every, where I wanted everything to be first rather than going right in with the black because if you did the black first and then did your orange color it would smear black everywhere so I drew what I wanted with the white pencil then I put the orange and then I'm going to go over it with the black so that way you can if you mess up you can kind of wipe it away really easily and redo it kind of like a and yeah, time we won. <laughs> oh, we should have done it. I know. I know. She <laughs> won. We won. Look, Ashley's trying to be done and be the it's winner. It's competition. Everything's a competition. I don't think you can respect it on the other side of you. I do. Oh, She's almost done. Oh, you are. <laughs> we won. So another question that came in before were kind of the ha Halloween trends. And I think Harley Quinn is still kind of a winner of being a hot trend for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Wonder That's Woman, of course, oh, like the huge, sure. huge blockbuster. I actually saw something really cool the other day where they made Wonder Woman. It was actually like Sally's Instagram, I think. And they made it all out of bobby pins, like her headpiece, 
her like W on her That's cool. wow. shirt. That's everything cool. was like out of gold bobby pins. Super cool. So check that That's out. Stranger Things. I've seen it. Oh, yeah, Stranger, Stranger Things. Sure. And then what's the other? The Clown. It. it. Oh, oh, it. 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 Yeah. Well, what was that movie, that other show you watched? Game of Thrones? No. Oh, also. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. No, it's scary. It's like, um, I don't know what It's a uh, on television. <laughs> oh, on television. Oh, and it's scary. Well, shit. Anybody that wants to chime in and let us know. Oh, American Horror Story. Which one? American Horror Story. Oh, American Horror Story. Yeah. And then I think that there's always like those traditional like. I think the glam squad's gonna be the Kardashians. We want, we want them for yeah. the year, especially the Kardashians now. on Tuesday. Uh, especially now, thank you, Chris. I wanted to be you for Halloween, and thank you for going platinum. Oh my gosh! I, I want to be Black like China. So just good. saying, I yeah. like to be Black China. I know. I am like so excited. Chris went platinum just in time for Halloween. <laughs> and another one is, you know, the girl who has like the wig on in Blade Runner. It's like a colorful wig. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And she's like her Talk body's like colorful or something. <laughs> I've heard people talking about that and Mary Poppins, even though that movie hasn't come out yet. What? Yeah, I've seen people like putting together Mary Poppins outfits. Um, Brittany, I think you should wear some of the regular. I'm just going to say real quick. I, I like thought that I was going to wear Colonel Sanders. Oh, I like this. I, I like wear this. Colonel Sanders is where it was at. Did somebody oh, see you yeah. have there yet? Oh! oh. And my boy Bunny yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm going to be who has her this whole week, and all of you will be my buddies. I feel like Brandon can get that. I love Brandon. Oh, and Shayla, smoking jacket. <laughs> I'm going to pull up and have a smoking jacket. I love Shayla. We're talking about Oh, look at you. Like, we have two Shaylas. I like, I've never done this uh, lip this hard. I think like a dark lip is just like a super fun way to do it. It is. Yeah. So I know. What did you do? Did you use eyeliner or? I did. I don't have a good black lipstick like most normal people, but uh, uh, <laughs> so I just used a liquid eyeliner um, to fade into a kind of very emollient gloss to kind of make it that ombre um, dark look. And it's probably going to stay a little bit better. Yes. With being a young. You're not getting it off tonight. Please. Okay, <laughs> if you wanted to sleep in your makeup, if you got your makeup professionally done, you wanted to make it last until the next night, could you do it? Yes. Stay up. <laughs> just stay up. You just sleep, sleep really, really gently. But on all you your back. You just like sleep like this. On right? your back. Like, I did it one day. Yeah. I had my school face. No, I wore my school face and I was like, I'm not washing all of this off. I just, and I didn't put it on my pillow sheets. Right? <coughs> well, you could have no. taken a shower. I could have, but it was but late at too night, much work. Wanted, too much work. We had, a, I had a few too many pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered with a shower to get it off. <laughs> oh my gosh. But thank you for having me. Like, so good, like, Charles. I know I did, and I hope to come like this tomorrow. <laughs> I do too. She Charles, is I hope you play on your back tonight and don't <laughs> get your face messed up. I gotta interject. <laughs> Wrap it up. I think she's gonna. <laughs> I think so. Don't worry about what I was saying. You gotta say your hair. I know. Oh, she, Actually, I'm digging the hair. I know. I, I think you should be a beautiful every day. day. I like the style. So I hair and makeup. This it's weekend. hair and makeup this weekend, Friday and Saturday. $99. We have all of the girls here. We can't wait to have you guys in and see. It, this is like literally one of our most fun times of the year because we get to do something different. So yeah. We get to do like we get to do glam looks. We get to do event makeup like every week. But to do like something fun and like take jewels on and do a pumpkin is like so amazing. Sorry, sure I sorry about that. <laughs> Don't raise your eyebrows, Charles. She's oh, trying to wrap it up. Out of my makeup. So we'll be running it all day, Monday, or Saturday, Friday and Saturday. And then Tuesday, for Beauty and Bubbles, we are going to just kind of give you an update on all of the fun things that we have coming up for holiday. Um, and just kind of wish you guys a happy Halloween. I'm sure that you guys will all be out and about and, like, 
going trick or treating and all of that fun stuff during PD and Bubbles. So we just want to kind of give you a little update, a little rundown. We have some really fun things in the works for November, for Beauty and Bubbles, for December. We have a great holiday bazaar that we're going to be doing on December 8th. December 8th, 4 to 8, we're going to have all of our vendors, all of our favorite vendors, which one's going to get kicked out of our vending if he doesn't stop dancing and being he's our live audience. Seriously, yeah. somebody punch him in the throat. Shayla, take him down. Shayla, take him down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have all of our favorite vendors. Gift Lovely is going to be here, Spruce Men. We're going to have a working job. We're going to have all sorts of people who are for... So we're going to have a super fun like Christmas shop for all of you with all of our yeah, vendors holiday. so that way you can get all of your Christmas shopping done on December 8th and have some holiday cocktails. Yeah. Um, in November we have some amazing beauty and bubbles coming up and we're so excited about our vendors that are going to join us on Tuesday and November. We have some super fun things coming up for you guys. So on Halloween, we're just going to follow up with you guys and kind of go over all of the fun things that we have coming into the new year, through the holidays, kind of get you guys all done through the year. Perfect. Great. Great. Yay. Love it. I hope to wear this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys come in tomorrow and see Charles with her pumpkin face, but I hope you guys have a good hair done tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to all of our models and amazing artists for coming in and creating these amazing looks that you guys voted for on Instagram. Give it all a hand. Yeah. Thank you guys all for voting on Instagram. That was amazing. We had so many votes come through. So thank you so much. And then we'll see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Brad Taylor, you are never allowed to sit in.